Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Uh, if you're a new viewer, look at this picture right now and realize that it's not my intention to bully or harass people online. I'm simply just like super, super uh, blunt and straightforward and honest, so don't be here and judge how I make my videos. And that being said, I'm going to be talking about the whole Tana Mojo and Alyssa Violet situation going on because, and Brooke Schofield, because I still don't know if that's her last name, um, Brooke Schofield, but literally this fucking drama has been insane so far because i was gonna be talking about uh the finality of the esports tournament that just happened yesterday and it was for league of legends but um this just came out of nowhere and this like is a big deal so i'm gonna be talking about this first and then i'll be making a league of legends video and then i have to make more videos after this because like a lot of crazy stuff that i'm interested on youtube just came out and i would love to talk about it so uh, it's this news has been out for like a day or maybe like a day and a half now I don't know I think it's been a day and a half but I'm gonna talk about it before it gets old so basically there's so many like drama channels already talking about this but I know that like the news is out there and fresh so it's okay but literally um 10 emoji oh literally I don't even know where to start because like there's so much going on with like my fucking headspace right now like it's it's like trying to put like 20 things through a door at once so forgive me if i sound like a mess i'm not trying to be but literally um like i, I said in the last video which i can't believe the last video that i made about logan paul that um that week that drama has been out for like nine days now so like almost two weeks and it's still got like almost 300 views so just thank you so much for everybody talking about it because it was just like old news so the fact that i was still able to get 300 amount of views is just amazing so thank you so um i'm gonna keep this up and keep going so um in that previous video um i said that um for all my people that watch that um uh literally i said that i want to change my username to like like, I showed a picture of, like, this twink in a mask because that, like, suits my personality. Like, literally, I'm, like, this, like, super sassy twink. And I, I just want to, like, be blunt and honest as possible. Like, I don't want to keep explaining myself. So if I feel, I feel like if I change my username to, like, sassy twink or something like that, then that will be, like, so much better <laughs> than Psychic Gable. Like, I want to still put it known to my viewers out there that like i want my username to be psychic gable or, or like i want people to know that i'm psychic because i am um so like i'm clear cognates and clear uh audience so basically um like i'm just trying to figure out like if i'm gonna change my username i still want that psychic element to my channel so hold on i'm gonna pause the video and think sorry i'm back i i lied i didn't uh think i just had to sneeze really fast i didn't want you guys to hear me sneeze so i had to pause the video my bad um but i'm literally talking about um like my username what like what should i change it should i change it to like <laughs> it sounds like so naughty but i'm not trying to be naughty like i want to be like sassy gay twink like when people think of the word twink they think of like something naughty and i'm not like my intention is not to be naughty it's just like a twink is a term that can be used without like a sexual content towards it so like twink like that's what i mean when i say twink so when i say sassy twink that just sounds naughty and i'm not trying to be naughty like i don't know like uh blunt twink blunt twink or something like that because in that picture, when I was editing the video, I, I, it was like thick twink or something like that. I don't even f fucking know. But I think, um, I think <laughs> the think twink or the twink think, because <laughs> that would be kind of cute. Like twink think picture. Should I put a picture of my, like a twink or like a twink that's thinking that, that would make a lot of sense. That's cute. A twink think think twink should that be my username think twink that would be like pretty good because people will understand what my username is okay i'm gonna get back to this but i'm gonna quickly talk about the tana mojo situation i don't want to bobble too much but basically i'm gonna summarize it all up because everybody knows at this point what's going on so 
um, Tana and Brooke were literally just like doing their own thing, doing their podcast, which is ex- extremely successful. And before I say anything further about Tana, I just want to say that Tana, I do like her. I'm just saying that she's not perfect. Um, I see that there's a lot of times where she's messed up and like done really, really effective horrible like evil things but there's other times where she keeps it real and she's honest and she's open and that's what i like about her so the fact that she keeps it real and honest and she's open and she's not homophobic because she hangs out with a lot of transgender friends and stuff like that so basically like i feel like this girl Alyssa violet came into the picture and she basically just called out um tana mojo and brooke schofield and i think that they're like roughly around all the same ages because like I don't really know nothing about Alyssa Violet. She just looks like she's young. She looks like she's like in her, in her like early twenties to mid twenties, and that's the same age as Tana and Brooke are. So, like, she was just basically saying that like Tana and Brooke need to grow up because like especially Tana, um, because like she was making fun of Jason Nash because Jason Nash like freaking, um, is begging people for money on TikTok, which I kind of have a like. I agree with Tana in the sense that, like, he shouldn't be begging people for me. I think that's weird, honestly. And then Alyssa Violet was just defending Jason Nash and saying that, like, Jason Nash, like, has every single right. Like, he has a family that has his support, so why make fun of him? And I do understand Alyssa, you know, coming after Tana, but in this whole situation where, regarding to Jason Nash, I feel like Tana's in the right because, like, he's, like, a grown man asking people for money on TikTok. It's just embarrassing weird, you know? Um, and then freaking, what's it called? Um, <laughs> Alyssa Viola, like, she, she made me laugh, though, when, when she was telling Tana that Tana needs to grow up and be a big girl. <laughs> the way that she said that in the video was so fucking funny. Like, I couldn't help but, like, laugh when I first saw that. And then, um, also, like, she was with her friend and she was just saying that, like, how she doesn't like Trisha Paytas either. And as soon as she said that, I was like, okay, I fucking love this girl because so many people are up Trisha Paytas' ass and they always seem to forgive her whenever she does something bad. But we need to, like, hold her up to her fucking lies that she puts out and her fucking disgusting, like, dark energy that she puts out, like, throughout the fucking universe, like, for the past, like, 11 years that she's been on YouTube because she's just a pathological liar and she's just not a good person. And Dixie D'Amelio said it best like she's just not a good person period and that's all there is to it and people need to stop giving her chances then i mean I, the universe is kind of in our favor because literally uh when i say r i don't mean trish paytas i mean everybody who hates trish paytas including myself but literally like her main channel blonde sundoff or mj like literally fucking um only gets like twenty thousand views and she has like five million subscribers on there it's her podcast that gets like uh three hundred thousand views and it's just weird because all of her fucking life she's always said that she doesn't want to do drama she doesn't want to do drama but here she is like talking shit about people like she her podcast is basically a drama channel and it's just weird because like she said all this time for fucking 20 years it seems that like she doesn't want to be in drama but here she is like talking about drama and causing drama and it's fucked up because like Alyssa violet thinks the same way so like the universe, like, I'm not alone when it comes to Trisha Paytas, and that just makes me happy, because I fucking hate her, and I think she had, nobody, like, people need to stop giving her, like, chances, and literally, what am I gonna say next, um, that's basically it, and then, like, Brooke called out Alyssa once, uh, Alyssa was see like, uh, obviously, Brooke seen the videos that, um, uh, Alyssa was calling out Tana, and then, Brooke having like Tana's back like she called out Alyssa and I feel like that's very cheap of Brooke to do that honestly because like this is like throughout her entire rambo like Alyssa didn't mention Brooke at all she was just mentioning Tana so why does Brooke have to jump in and like defend Tana like that's not fair come on Brooke play fair um but literally uh she she's like Brooke just needs to mind her own business because it wasn't involving her but anyways and now people are going to come at fucking Alyssa because Tanner and Brooke are more popular. And I just feel bad for Alyssa because I feel like Alyssa is in the right to call out Tana. Because like I said, she does do a lot of evil shit and she does need to take accountability and acknowledge that. And she needs to stop that and learn and grow and be a better person and a better role model. And that's what Alyssa was just trying to say, basically. So overall, I'm on team Alyssa and this Alyssa girl she just made me laugh so much like the way that she fucking called Tana like like she was saying to Tana like Tana needs to grow up and be a big girl like the way that she fucking said it I'm sorry like I can't, that shit still makes me laugh like <laughs> 
Because, like, you have no idea. When she first said that, I, like, screamed out loud. I, I was just so fucking, like, because I feel the same way. And I was just happy that someone else called out Tana. And it wasn't just me. So I, I might put the video clips here really fast. Um, Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Because you all have seen it by now. But sure, why not? Just, I'm not going to put it all because Alyssa Violet talks so fucking much. But, like, this, I'll just show, like, the funny parts that, she, that I agree with. So be right back. <laughs> like and make a million dollars okay that's like unheard of and and that's great that you do that that's awesome cool like i'm not shaming you for that that's great it's just not everyone can do that so what we're not going to do what's not cool in 2024 is shaming people for going live for making a couple of extra dollars to provide for their kids okay and i know your bffs with trisha and you're on that side but it's like what's not cool is to shame okay let's grow up you have a big girl podcast let's wear some big girl pants Okay, I'm back. So basically, um, yeah, I told you, like, that part was f funny as shit. But anyways, um, so that's basically it with this whole drama. Um, she did, Alyssa Violet did mention Tessa Brooks as well, but I'm not really sure who Tessa Brooks is. I just know that they, like, there's more people that hate Tana. So yeah, I get it. And that just makes me laugh. And that's basically this whole drama. And then Tana is, like, really shocked that Alyssa would call her out. She was, like, having a panic attack. I was like, Tana, what do you expect? Like, you put out all this negative energy out there. You have to get remorse. This is what you get. It's called karma. So I'm going to let karma deal with Tana. Honestly, that fucking rhymed. And I'm going to continue back with my YouTube channel update because I just want to say that, um, like, I just, like, I think that my username would be better if, like, people, because I'm getting a lot of viewers and I, I'm just sick and tired of explaining myself over and over again. Like, I'm just a blunt and honest person. And people don't take me serious when I say that. And, I, and then they get offended. And I'm like, bro, I told you from the fucking beginning, I'm a blunt and honest person. Of course you're going to get offended. Like, why leave negative comments? Like, I don't care. It's just like, why do you leave negative comments if you, I t told you from the beginning, like, I'm going to be blunt and honest? Like, fucking hell, learn to listen. And it's not my fault people don't listen. So I'm sick and tired of it. But literally, I'm just... That's the only reason why I want to change my username is because I'm sick and tired of, like, fucking just, like, repeating myself. So I feel like a username that's going to make people already realize that I'm going to be blunt and honest and I'm probably going to offend you. But and it is, there's nothing you can do like a fucking black hole. That's why, like, in my fucking opening and ending, there's a fucking video of a black hole in space. That's me, bitch. I'm like a black hole. I'm a twink black holes. Only twinks can be black holes. I'm sorry. Like, it's just a thing in the universe, okay? Like, I'm into psychology and shit, so maybe I should call myself the black hole twink. That actually sounds really fucking cool. Black hole twink. Black hole twink. And then... I gotta think, though, because, like, you can only change your username, like, once every, like, <laughs> uh, six months on YouTube, so I, if I gonna change it like i can't change it back you know like it has to be it and i don't want to change my mind so black hole twink sounds really fucking good but that isn't gonna show people that like i'm gonna be blunt and honest so what's a good way to show people that i'm blunt and honest right away um blunt and honest twink psychic blunt twink psychic gay twink no Wait, actually, that sounds really good. Psychic gay twink. That actually sounds sick because that sounds blunt. And people are, are going to be like, yeah, that, that does sound blunt. And people are going to... Okay, so what was it? Black hole twink versus psychic gay twink. <sighs> Black hole twink sounds better. But, um, sassy... Oh, wait. It wasn't sassy gay twink, it is it was psychic gay twink. S psychic gay twink just doesn't sound good, so no. But sassy gay twink versus black hole twink. Sassy gay twink. Actually, sassy gay twink sounds really fucking good, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I'm gonna fucking continue to just, like, think. I could do this, and you guys would probably listen, so maybe I shouldn't. Yeah, let's not. Let me just drink some fucking tea really fast. One sec. Okay. Sorry, I'm not going to pause my video as I'm si sipping some tea. Okay. So literally, black... And it wasn't black hole twink. It was sassy gay twink. So what's better? Sassy gay 
twink or black hole twink? I think it should be black hole twink, sassy gay twink. Uh, see, sassy gay twink is better because, like, you're going to understand that, like, I'm blunt and honest. But there's no psychic part in it. Like, I want people to realize that I'm a fucking psychic. So, sassy gay twink. Or wait. I told you so twink. <gasps> I told you so twink. I told you so twink. I told you so twink would make people think that I'm like psychic, right? But I don't have to put the word psychic. And then it's like sassy because I told you so. That's what like twinks say. Like I told you so. I told you so. So I told you so twink. One, two, three twink. I That sounds good too. Wait. I told you. So, okay. <laughs> I told you so twink versus sassy gay twink. Which sounds better. I told you so twink. Sassy gay twink. <sighs> I like I told you so twink because like that's just. It's like psychic. Okay, that's actually perfect. Okay, is there anything better than I told you so twink? <laughs> I told you so twink. I really like the word sassy though. Or sass. Or sass. T sass. Psychic sass twink. Or sassy psychic twink. Sassy, wait, what was it? Uh, psychic, no, sassy gay twink versus I told you so twink. I like sassy gay twink better, but there's no psychic element to it. Fuck, man, this is so annoying. All right, I'm just going to pause, and <laughs> this is the end of this video for now. Fuck, yeah, I could go on, and I know that I would get a lot of viewers just by listening to me, but listen... I, it's going to take forever for me to figure it out. I'm going to fucking uh, just make the next video next, and then I'll talk about it again. So anyways, I'll be right back. And Actually, no. I, this is going to be the end for the Tandem Module video. The next video I'm going to be making is about League of Legends. So that will be back. That, so be right back. And watch that video that I put up next. Peace out.